Our digestive system generally isn't super picky when it comes to food. As soon as something reaches the stomach, it will try to digest it. However, some of us don't have that luxury, as our body just seems to reject certain kinds of foods. In this video, we will go over what food allergies and intolerances are, and why some of us have them in the first place, especially lactose intolerance. Starting off with allergies, which are caused by your immune system attacking things that aren't harmful to you, which is food in the case of food allergies. When the immune system detects the presence of, say, a peanut, they will trigger immune responses, one of them being inflammation and swelling of blood vessels. This is why some people have difficulty breathing after eating food they're allergic to since their throat and airway may swell up due to this inflammatory response. Cleaner and more developed countries actually tend to have more allergies, not just to food. Our immune system is evolved to fight ruthlessly all the time to make sure that we are healthy and keep pathogens out of our bodies. However, as countries become more and more sanitized, there are less and less pathogens for the immune systems to fight. But they are still very ruthless since we can't just tell them to calm down. Therefore, they end up fighting things that aren't even pathogens, with food being one of them, causing more allergies in countries with a wealthier and cleaner infrastructure. This is known as the microbial exposure hypothesis or the hygiene hypothesis. Next, we have food intolerance, which is usually a lot less severe as it is your digestive system having trouble breaking down certain foods. The biggest cause for food intolerance is when your digestive system isn't producing enough enzymes to break down a certain food. The most common example is lactose intolerance, which is when your digestive system isn't producing enough lactase. Lactase is responsible for breaking down lactose in foods such as milk and other dairy products in the small intestine. However, if too much lactose travels to the large intestine undigested, the bacteria inside the colon will start digesting it, releasing a lot of hydrogen, methane, and carbon dioxide gas. Furthermore, lactose, or most sugars, are hydrophilic and can absorb water out of the colon. This may result in plenty of gas release, bloating, and diarrhea. So then, why is around 70% of the adult world population lactose intolerant? Interestingly, being lactose intolerant in adulthood is actually how it evolved we were all born lactose tolerant so that we can feed off our mother's milk and grill. However, this isn't needed when we grow older. So in other words, limiting milk intake to just the nursing period provides more fitness than being able to intake milk during all life stages. Being lactose tolerant in adults or lactase persistent is actually a genetic mutation that arose. Some evidence suggests that the pasteurization and domestication of milk is correlated with the rise of lactase persistence of adults. Therefore, the increase in dairy production is correlated with adults remaining lactose tolerant and being able to enjoy milk past the nursing period. And there we have it! Food allergy is when your immune system attacks harmless food molecules while damaging your own cells while food intolerance is when your body isn't producing enough enzymes to break down a specific food. Furthermore, lactose intolerance in adulthood was actually always the norm. Being lactose tolerant is a mutation that may have arisen as more milk is being produced. I hope that y'all have learned something interesting today. Thank you for watching and good luck with everything!